Ready to rock and roll? Good evening. Calling the Columbia County Board of Commissioners Village Rate Public Hearing to order. Full quorum of commissioners, and so we're going to jump straight into the presentations. Mr. Johnson, you going to lead this? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, I'll lead it, and also Ms. Reese may jump in here as well. Just kind of give you a snapshot of where we are in Columbia County as it relates to our millage rate. Uh, Columbia County is seeing an increase in values in our properties in Columbia County, and uh, for the past uh, six years, uh, Columbia County has reduced the, the millage rate when we have uh, seen that increase in, in values on properties. Uh, we are actually looking to do that again this year. The current millage rate is set at 5147 uh, the staff has a recommendation that we roll the millage rate back uh, 0.25 or a quarter mil to 4.895. Uh, I will note that, that this, we do have to calculate what's called a rollback rate, and that rollback rate would be the amount of money that we would, we, the, the millage rate that we would need to apply to basically keep everything the same. Um, in this particular case this year, uh, we are we are uh, putting before the board that we roll the millage rate back halfway to the rollback rate. Um, last year we rolled it to the rollback rate, the year before we rolled it to the rollback rate, uh, but we have concerns that if we continue to roll through the rollback rate, Columbia County is not gonna be able to keep up with this level of service that we have currently. So we are proposing, uh, it's still a tax break. We are still rolling taxes back. We are not increasing taxes, uh, but we are looking at going back a quarter mil Additionally, uh, we because of the growth in the digest, we would roll the debt service piece back as well. That goes down 0.124 mills. Uh, we are proposing to leave the fire department millage rate exactly where it is. That's a designated millage uh, for the fire department of 2.788 mills uh, for a total uh, millage rate of 8.242, which is a 0.376 reduction. So when you add the debt piece in, it is actually over a uh, quarter mil in rollback. Um, you can see the additional calculations there. The, the county has already set its budget for this, this year. We do that in July with an anticipation of the growth in the digest. We do have proper funding to be able to run the government with the amount of money that we do have in our budget. Um, and with that, I will pause and allow you to ask any questions and take any questions that we may have in the public hearing. The net percentage increase is 7.96 if left left at the current millage rate or roll back. That's at the that's at the 4.895 millage rate. Is the net uh, increase is 7.96. Have data that shows how how our sales tax revenues have increased, or better yet, just what we've collected in sales tax. What percent of our general fund is covered with? Um, Remember the percent of our fair tax. But in sales it's tax. approximately twenty five percent. Twenty five percent. That number does fluctuate. We we had we did budget a higher number in sales tax this year uh, than we have historically because we we were getting larger numbers in. Uh, the problem with that is, is, is it's it goes up and down. Uh, if we go into a recession, that sales tax goes down. So I think you know, the only concern that we would have on the staff level is certainly we want to roll taxes back. And I think during my time as a county manager, we've demonstrated that we we've made recommendations to roll taxes back. Uh, for see, I've been here since 2011. I think the first five years it stayed the same, but after that, every year we made a recommendation to roll it back, with the exception of the COVID year. Um, and we want to continue to roll taxes back. But I think when you have a community that, that expects the level of service Columbia County expects, and we expect our parks to look a certain way, you expect our sheriff's office to perform at a certain level, you expect us to provide those certain services at a certain level, um, if we roll it back too far, there's going to have to be a time where we're going to be need needing to raise that to, to go back up. And I don't think that's something certainly this board has ever contemplated raising taxes in any way. Um, but it, it, it does take money to operate an award-winning community. Uh, I will offer that we are still, if we look at our benchmark counties, 
We are still operating with less staff than our benchmark counties. We're still operating with less budget than our benchmark counties, yet we are providing award-winning service uh, with the staff that we do have. And there's a piece this year coming down from the state that is an exemption, correct, on the property tax? Yeah, so this year you are going to see an additional exemption on your property tax bill. So this, this uh, governor and the, and the legislature um, has instituted an additional homestead exemption. So instead of your standard $2,000 exemption, you're going to get an additional $18,000 exemption. So that would be a total of a $20,000 exemption off of whatever your um, adjusted rate is, and that is 40% of whatever your new value is. So uh, the fact that we're rolling taxes back and the fact that the governor has given us and the legislature has given us that additional exemption this year, people's property tax bills should go down regardless. You should not pay what you paid last year. Even with the with the increase in values, which by the way, I did want to point out, I've heard people say that their, their property values have doubled um, or they've seen 50% increases. The average increase in property tax, or I'm sorry, the average increase in value on a Columbia County home last year was 11.6% increase. Uh, we are living in a community where the values are going up because people want to live here and uh, supply is, is down and demand is up. And that's driving the cost of housing in Columbia County up because it is a desired community. Questions? Any public comments? Anybody want to weigh in? And this, there's no action being taken tonight. We have three meetings, so go ahead. Come on down, please. State your name and address for the record, please. My name is Yesun Wilsey, 4701 Walnut Hill Drive, Evans. I cannot argue with anything that you have said this evening because I am very, uh, as a citizen of uh, Columbia County, I am very pleased with the service we received from Columbia County Commission. And I have uh, excellent commissioners whenever I, I think I communicate with the commissioners quite often more so than most people. And any time I have any questions, I have gotten very timely responses with all my questions <clears throat> answered. Not necessarily what I want to hear, but most of the times I, I do think Columbia County is an excellent county. I feel very fortunate to live here. That said, uh, and also I do acknowledge that you've been very generous making sure that our marriage rates were rolled back whenever we had a house uh, price increase. Um, that said, I know quite a few people who are senior citizens with very fixed income, and every dollar counts in their monthly expenses. So uh, I'm not sure. I'm, of this 7.96% increase in uh, taxes, what percentage of that is from growth versus our appreciation of existing property? All you know? of it. All of that would be. It's all growth. It's all based on the growth. It may not be, we may, I may not understand your question. <clears throat> so I looked at my property uh, tax increase. It was uh, approximately 12% uh, for my property. And so I know that even though we, we all want to see our property values going up, and that is a good sign that this is a very desirable county, uh, it's one of those things that, you know, we don't really realize that increase until we sell the property. But in the meantime, our taxes will be increased based on the valuation. So I was, you know, but in the meantime, you build new houses new commercial buildings. So, so those are uh, new addition to our economy Correct. versus those of us uh, having increase in our existing property. That's, uh, that's my question. One of the things I'd, I'd like to point out is when you get that bill, two-thirds of that check you're writing is going to the school board. Oh, I understand All that. of it is not all... Oh, I understand. It's not all in front of us yes. right here. We I'm very aware of that. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm not really complaining because uh, I, I am very fortunate that, you know, it's not going to negatively affect uh, me. 
and I know you are considering rolling back some of it, so I do appreciate that very much. And I want you to know that, you know, we are, whenever we contact you or I speak, it's not always negative, because I am very, very pleased with the Korea County Commission. Thank you. So, so I just want to see the maximum rollback. Thank you. Any other comments, questions? Again, we'll have two. Should I speak? I just, uh, your name and address? Lori Taylor, and I live at 7106 Evanstown Center Boulevard. Okay. And I'm wondering, um, are we growing too fast? Because we keep adding new uh, parks and new things, and I know we have SPLOS to pay for things initially up front, but then what are those ongoing costs? Are those coming out of the property taxes? Or does SPLOS cover ongoing costs? No. So SPLOS is, is a capital uh, fund, and it builds, for example, a park, and then maintenance of that park, the ongoing maintenance of that park, the county has to absorb in the general fund, which typically how we have done that historically, because we have lowered the millage rate, it's been because we've had such a great growth in the digest by adding the new homes or by the assessments being higher, um, we've been able to add staff. Uh, Commissioner Richardson made a, uh, Vice Chair Richardson made a comment earlier today, I believe when he took office in Columbia County in 2015, we had 1,100, 1290. 1,290 employees. Now here we are in, in 2023 and we have 1,411. So we've not added a tremendous amount of staff. Um, I will tell you that, that I run these numbers from time to time. Our citizen to employee ratio in Columbia County is one employee for every 114 citizens. Currently, um, most of our benchmark counties are in that 1 to 50 to 1 to 60 range. So we do what I like to consider twice as much with half as many people. But yes, you do have to add staff to be able to, because BLOSS can't pay for maintenance costs going forward. So like the Performing Arts Center, are we? A little bit different than Performing Arts Center. So that was actually built with a general obligation bond. Um, and But it is an enterprise fund, meaning that it funds itself. We do not use, we do not use your tax dollars to fund anything at the Performing Arts Center. Uh, they are actually on their own, so whatever money they generate, that pays their salaries, that keeps the lights on. Uh, it's all inside that one fund. Okay, I think um, most citizens are just afraid that government works, like they will spend up to the max. And I think most citizens, we don't get to live like that. And so, you know, we have to tighten our belts a little bit sometimes. And so hearing you want to have a little extra makes me think that's going to get all used and the next time you're going to want to have a little extra again. So if we don't need it, I say just roll it back to the maximum because there's still going to be an increase in the budget, just even rolling it back to where you were talking about all the way. So. Right. right. Thank you. Anyone else? Well, again, there will be two more meetings uh, before we vote. So. We'll take all this into consideration. The staff has given us a, a, a pile of data to uh, for the, the board, and our intent is to roll it back. It's just how far. We get your point. Actually, it fades. The government spends what it gets. I will say that I'd say Columbia County does a really good job. We don't spend everything we get. And looked at our overall budget. Correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I believe all in spend is around $350 million. 355, that's all in. That's the, the sheriff, the jail, the, the operation. Even the capital projects that we do next year, we're going to spend about 350 to $370 million. My, my, uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a poor comparison, but my, my home county from which I moved, which is borders this, it's uh, over a billion. And so I am proud that we do. Uh, everything we can to keep those numbers down, to keep the spending down. Be here in a committee meeting when they want to buy a new truck. My goodness. Uh, at any rate, um, did any other comments? All in order and... Oh, um, I haven't looked at this budget yet thoroughly, but about 40% of the general fund goes to the rule of law. 
which is sheriff, jail, judges, magistrate courts, superior courts. So and a, a very large amount of the money we spend is on is public safety. One consistent theme with, with this commission is we're going to have law and order, and we're going to fund whatever it takes to ensure that there's not a safer place to live than Columbia County. I know yeah, the sheriff's in on that. The DA's in on that. Yeah, those numbers in your packet, Mr. Chairman, this year you can look at the, the breakdown. 42.54% goes to public safety. Another 5.51 goes to judicial. So that's over 47, 48%. And then if you look at public works, it's 8%. Health and welfare is 1%. Uh, recreation is 7.67%. Um, and general government is 31%, 31.68% of our budget. So the vast majority of that, almost half, is the rule of law. is public safety and, and judicial. But at least, at least for the next three and a half years, I can tell you, we will not skimp public safety. If you're a bad guy, you come here, you're going to get locked up. Any other comments? Otherwise, we look forward to seeing all you who are here for this meeting in weeks for the next one. <laughs> I believe that uh, I'm going to adjourn the public hearing. And then we'll move straight into the commission meeting in about 60 seconds.